In this mod review, we're taking a look at the Peterbilt 377 for American Truck Simulator. Junior Senior. G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we are taking a look at the Peterbilt 377 for American Truck Simulator. So, let's go and check it out. It has been a little while since we've actually seen this truck. Uh, last year, I believe. So, let's see what's changed. I'm very, very curious. So, uh, first of all, in the cabins, uh, you... There we go. Uh, you've got the 36-inch sleeper. You've got the day cab, which is pretty cool. I actually like the day cab for this one. Very nice. And then you've got the mid-roof sleeper, which changes the chassis there. So, you have to have the longer chassis. Now, uh, with the chassis, this one here... Now, can we go here? If we go to the, not day cab, no, we want to go to the 36. No, so you can't go 36 inch sleeper in the actual uh, long chassis. You can only do, you can only do the larger sleeper there, which was the mid-roof sleeper. So just something to bear in mind when you're actually doing this, that that's all you can actually do. So um i am going to go back here and we're going to go for the actual mid-roof sleeper i like that one um and it will show pretty much all the options that you can do as well so uh chassis so they're for the you know the day cab and the uh the smaller sh the smaller ca uh, sleeper smaller sleeper there we go uh and then the uh six by four long is for the uh longer you know for the actual bigger sleeper so there we go mid-roof now engines, you've got a large diff large choice here of engines. So um, just have a quick look here. We've got the CAT, uh, the 3405, uh, sorry, we've got the 375 horsepower CAT uh, C15, Cummins 444, uh, there's the N14 there, the 3406, uh, Packer MX13, uh, what else have we got there? These are the N14, the 3406. Uh, there's another C15. Uh, Detroit Diesel 60 Series. And there's the N14 uh, Collect Plus. So, you know, there's a whole heap of engines you can actually choose. The 60 Series again tuned. Uh, Cat. So, yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much everything that we've got there. So plenty to actually choose from. I'll start with the C15 and we'll come back later and have a look. Now for the transmission, there is a heap to choose from here. Um, different uh, different speeds with different diff ratios which makes it all the better for you to choose. And the secret to a good mod is having a lots of options to choose, which is great. Now, uh, first of all, we have the 10 speed Eaton Fuller. Uh, 13 speed, we've got another 10 speed there and let's have a look. 285, 285 differential. Oh, that's got the retarder, sorry. So there we go. Uh, 18 speed there with 325 diff. Uh, there's the Allison 4500. There's the 13 speed again. 18 speed and that is 325. That's a 325. That's the retarder version. Uh, there's the uh, RTLO 18, uh, 18610B. Uh, Another 10 speed there. So there's plenty of transmissions here to choose from. As you can see, there's a another 10 speed, 10 speed, different diff ratios is what we're going through now. And uh, 13 speed, what do we got? 325, 37, 34, 339, I'm gonna go 325. There we go, 18 with 325 for me. Uh, now the interior. Now the interior does look very nice in this. I particularly do like the seats. Uh, I like how they've been done there. It really does look like material has actually been, you know, measured and cut for this. That's very good, very good detail there. Very nice. Um, having a look around in the back there, you can see that there's the actual bed section, which looks very roomy, looks very roomy. Now, one thing I did want to try quickly if you go to 377, yes, and then we go to the actual interior. Oh, uh, okay, our sleeper's gone missing. So then we, although sorry, that was the day cab. So yeah, that's right. That that's right. 
Uh, then we go to the actual sleeper there, and it is... Is it a different size? Let's have a look. I want to quickly check this and see if it is actually a different size because it looks like it is. That looks like it is, doesn't it? That is really good. So the modder of this has actually gone through and done um, quite a bit of, you know, modding to make sure that the sleepers look legit and they do. They look very legit. Now, the actual colors, the paint jobs here, we've got uh, your general reds, greens, blues, oranges, you know, that sort of thing, pearls, whites, whatever. Uh, even your custom color in there as well. So if you're not happy with any of those colors, you can go and choose any custom color. Uh, the metallic, there's a sky blue metallic there, which I think looks very nice. And then you can choose your own metallic color. Now, um, what I'm just going to quickly do, quickly reset that, there we go. Now, I'm going to go through and find, to see if these actually, all three of these colors do work, because some modders have problems with this. And as you can see, this does not. It does not have any problem. Right there, you can see the third one. The second one and, and first one did work properly, so that is great. That's exactly what you want. And I think for this truck, I'm going to choose, I don't know. Let's choose that actual, what was that orange no that one's gonna that one's gonna glow when I uh, there we go let's go that one there the, oh yeah let's choose that that looks very nice very nice indeed now the accessories there's a good choice of select a selection of accessories with this uh, I was not expecting this many uh, for this truck I was uh, expecting a you know a little bit less because I vaguely remember there wasn't as many to choose from this time around so uh, sorry the the last time we had a look at it uh so to see more in here is actually very impressive uh, i think that's really good so the first of all we're looking at the bumper there's a couple of different choices there um i i don't know i think i like that one there uh grill you've got a few different choices there for the grill and um Again, I, I seem to like... There we go. I like the, the uh, lots of little bars going on the grill there. 13 bars. Uh, you can have your flags there for your overweight. There is no actual sign to put across the front. I'm hoping that comes within future um, updates for this mod because uh, that's pretty important when you... you got the flags, but you don't have the sign to say you're oversized or whatever. Um, then we've got steps now for me. I don't know steps are pretty important because I really don't like to vault into the actual You know hurdle into the truck or vault into the truck because uh, I like to climb up uh, and truck drivers that I know You know, they don't like to do too much work other than drive so <laughs> Some steps there are you know pretty important and you know, that's the same with me as well I don't want to bloody do two more work than what I have to do when I'm driving. I just want to drive man um, now that is the actual um, the mirrors the main mirrors uh, then we have driver's plate co-driver's plate then we have the sun visor up the top there there is the there's another choice there that you can choose uh, not a big fan of that one uh, I like that one there uh, you can take it off uh, the only thing that I don't like about Peterbilt's is that little part there it's way too rounded um, just doesn't do anything for me that's why I like to keep it like that there shows that rounded part and that there doesn't. So I think I like that one. But personal choice, each to their own. But there is a lot of choice there for you. Uh, then we've got the lights on the top. You can go and throw on more lights if you want. But it does have a, you know the one that I'm pretty much going to choose. Now, um, the horns here. Now, I did have one problem with this. And I'll be quite upfront with this. If you now collect, uh, click on yes... It crashed for me now it wasn't once it was twice it did that so uh, I suggest that that what that does is it's trying to change to the smaller chassis um, and it, it doesn't do it very well so it crashes so just be mindful uh, with that so if you've got the this cabin on there the sleeper make sure you choose the second one the second one there not the first one because that did make it crash for me twice um so there we go now we just choose the horns and uh look square ones for me today i think they look there we go look so much better 
Uh, up the back there, you've got, it says turbo wing. Uh, it's not really a turbo wing, but it is sort of like the aerodynamics. So that adds a little chrome bit on the top there. And which we pretty much seen in the 389 was the first one, I think, that so showed that. Um, in talking mods, that is. Talking mods. And there we go. So I'm going to put that aerodynamic wing on there and um, see how that goes. I think that'll look pretty... That's pretty good. So we'll leave it at that. Down the bottom there is tanks. A few different choices for tanks there. Uh, if you want to show your tanks, there's a few different sizes and, and that. So... Um, look, I'm quite, I quite like that there, even though that looks pretty good as well, that it, you know, but no, let's leave it on that today. Now, rear step there, you can put a rear step on there, um, doesn't affect anything else, so it's, you know, like in other mods we've seen the tank cr overlaps, but no, it doesn't affect that. Uh, there's the, uh, uh the airlines, or you've got a headache rack on the back there, uh, we'll just leave the airlines like that. Now, I'll just finish up this section here. There we go. Up the back there is the stock Peterbilt flaps. All right, so that's you only get one choice of one on there. So I just want to show you that. Now, as we spin around, you'll see that the dots do change and they give us different choice. So now we've got exhaust. And I'm going to scroll to the top there and we've got heaps of different exhaust to choose from. And uh, plenty, plenty here to keep you entertained because look, there's quite a good choice. Um, I am actually going to go those there. I really like those. Don't know why. Normally I don't like those, but anyway, this time I, I will. Um, so spinning it round, uh, that is the main mirrors and the rims down here. Just your standard rims and tires. So nothing overly exciting there. We'll put on some standard chrome. And we'll put some chrome nuts on. Chrome your nuts, boys. Uh, and then up the back here, we'll go and put on standard tires. And chrome standard rims. And nuts. And then we'll go and put on exclusive. There we go. There we go. Over to that one. Nuts. And covers exclusive there we go right so spinning it round and there was that was your exhaust there we've already seen that um, doo, 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 doo. and there we go I have noticed that I don't know how they're gonna go outside but inside that's I think that's model overlapping I don't know I'm not a hundred percent sure on that but it does look funny something's going on there uh, there's your side mirror there you can take that off if you don't want it there I'll just leave it on there there's your main mirrors. The rest we've already had a look at. Exhausts, covers, turbo wing, whatever. Uh, tanks, steps, very important steps. I need steps to get up inside my truck. <laughs> Without those steps, I'm, yeah, I'd just be looking at, at, the, at the owner going, yeah, no, mate, ain't going to do that. <laughs> get me some steps. Uh, accessories. Now, on the inside accessories, uh, we have the main mirror. Uh, then we go over here is the steering wheel. You can only choose one steering wheel. However, can we? Yes, we can take that steering wheel off. Now, believe it or not, some people do actually do that. They like their mods to do that. So you can take that off. Um, it just boils down to your setup, I guess. Uh, Sizzle's Mega Pack. This is the only place where Sizzle's Mega Pack works. So you can put your knob on there. And then over there, you've got the uh, GPS. If you want to add a GPS and then you've got the driver's plate over the other side is the co-driver's plate and up the very top there is the sun visor which you can see does work quite well in here now i don't know why we're so low down if you haven't noticed we're sort of like i, I feel like i'm a four-year-old at the moment in dad's truck um so but i you know you, we can fix that in a second now the uh hfg supporter so proud supporter of HFG, right, which is the modder. So yeah, let's put that on there because we, you know, try and support the modders the best we can. Now, main mirrors over there and there is the side mirrors there. And that is pretty much it. That is it. Look at that. Very good. Right. Let's confirm this. 
There we go. It looks nice. I like this truck. It looks really good. Definitely from the 80s, but um, you know, it's really nicely done. So let's do a trade in. And yes, we'll have a look on the outside. Confirm. Thank you very much. And outside we go. Just got to wait for the game to load. Uh, come on, you can load game. So since we last did a mod review, I have actually formatted my computer so you will no longer see that little, you know, activate windows anymore. See, I'm not a pirate. People just kept saying that I was a pirate. Uh, I don't know. You can see a big gap under there underneath the sleeper, I noticed. Where there's meant to be a solid. And looking around. Looks good though. Apart from that little gap that I saw. And there it is again. You can see it straight underneath. And it's just where the model was done on a singular side and not done on both sides. The, the skinning, sorry. Not the model, the skinning. Alright, so uh, just let me fix my track IR here. It, it is sort of, you know, there we go. That's a little bit better. It's, there we go. Alright, so F4 to fix this. Push F4 on the keyboard. So it's once, twice, and then the third time there. Yeah, it's low, right down low. So you want to get up a bit higher there so you can actually see over the, the dash. Um, now something we don't test often is the actual steering wheel. I just take it for granted that it's going to work in most cases, but this one doesn't. So there we go. I thought I'd quickly give it a whirl, but no, no go. And, um, is it 76 I have it? I think it is. All right, there we go. Let's, let's leave it on that. Now let's go on the outside here. Spin that around and let's, let's start her up and see how she sounds. Um, let's put on that. All right. There we go. Just checking my uh, shifter because there we go. It has actually been playing up a little bit lately, my uh, my shifter. So I'm um, not sure what the problem is with that. I might try and re in try. I don't know. I'm gonna try a few things maybe. Let's see the lights. Check the lights there. We've got lights. Yes, they work nicely. Uh, flashes. We've got flashes. High beams. Yes, high beams are working. Uh, there's no beacons, uh, drop axles, no uh, horn, air horn, all right, uh, wipers, wipers, no, no wipers, okay, um, what else do we have that we can push on the outside, I think that's pretty much it, now just having a look at those flashes on the side there on the back, uh, put the brake, uh, brake, yeah, brakes on. There we go. Reverse lights. Yep, they're working. And put on the actual brake there. No, that's all good. All right, uh, jump on the inside here. Um, flashes. Oh, my track IRs just reset to what a, yeah, default damn thing. No wonder it's not working properly. Um, now, uh, where was I? So, we'll turn those flashes off. Wipers. Wipers are working on the inside, but not the outside. So, that's interesting. Okay. Now, quickly, let's save this. We'll save this and um, I will push the display because I, it's just, you know, sometimes it crashes. Peterbilt 377. There we go. Save that. And then we go back out. And then let's push display. So cross your fingers. Okay, that didn't crash, so that's great. Yep, I pushed that a couple of times. Awesome. That is... I hate it when mods crash. You know, when you... You uh, push the display button and the mod crashes. I hate that. I really do. So we'll back this up and take it over and have a look at the engines. There's a few engines for us to actually check out there, so.
Oh, you can tell straight away it drives nice. There we go. All right, now uh, jump on the outside here and quickly test this. All right, now let's go inside here. Upgrade shop. Check out the engines. Cummins 444. Confirm. Thank you very much. Fire it up. There you go. There's the 444. And then we go over to the... Uh, that's the C15. The N14 we need to check out. Confirm. Thank you. And uh, spin it round. There we go. And what do we got next? Uh, the cat 3406. No 3408, which is a shame. 3408. Generally, you see 3406, 3408. There we go. Another engine sound. And what else we got here? We have Packer, the MX-13. And fire it up again. There we go. That definitely sounds like a Packer to me. Um, over to here. What else we got? The Packer, the Cummins, N14, 3406, C15, N14, Detroit Diesel 60 Series. Let's give that a whirl. Fire it up. There we go. And then we go to... Uh, back to the upgrade shop and the engine. We've got the N14 Detroit Diesel 60 Series. N14, N14 Cat Cummins. Let's try the Cummins. And... There you go. That sounds like a Cummins to me. Um, back to the upgrade shop. I think that was it, but just making sure. Uh, Cummins, C15. Uh, and that is pretty much it. Look, I'm going to put it back on the... Yeah, the Detroit Diesel. I don't know. I tend to like that one better. The sound of it, anyway. Right, let's go take it for a test drive. Already, I think I've pretty much made my decision. Just from that little drive there, you can easily tell if a truck's going to drive well or not. And it turns so nicely, too. Look at this. Listen to that. Isn't that... This is so nice to drive. It is it is great it really is uh, my, that's my track IR so I know how to fix that that's easy fix it's just for some reason it's not accepting the profile that I made for it all right oh listen to that go all right here we go banana break There we go. Now, this is actually really, really good. I am quite impressed with this. Just turn that down a fraction. I really do think that this is a very good mod to try, guys. Um, I mean, it's got... It drives well. It's It sounds good. Uh, it's got a few options. For some reason, the paint job's glowing, though. I just noticed that now. Um, you, you know, so it is quite a good all-rounder mod. But is it worthy of the weekly drive? Well, that's not up to me, guys. That's up to you. 
So if you would like to see this in the weekly drive, then punch that like button in the ass and make sure that you have your vote because your vote counts, guys. Um, it's pretty important that if you don't vote, guys, some truck's going to get in there you just don't like and then that, ends, that could end up going into the best of weekly drive and man, that would be a lot of tears if that happened. Really would. So make sure you get in there and vote. Well, guys, look, uh, I hope you enjoyed this mod review. Uh, I love making these mod reviews, guys, and uh, I do apologize for the past week. We've been having a lot of problems, uh, technical. Uh, if you've been following me on Facebook, you'll know that uh, I, had a, I had a hard drive fire. So there we go. <laughs> that was interesting. Um, but yeah, look, um, that is pretty much it for this mod review, guys. Um, don't forget, if this is the first time you've seen Junior Senior Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Senior Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down. And I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.